Are you guys kind of ready? Come, well, yeah. say yes. Yes. Come over here then. All right, so we have, we, who have we got here? Who's Fred. On? That's Fred. This is Fred. Who's, who's been dealing with Fred? His head's full of the pearls. Nobody's perfect. They do better. They do better. He seems a bit of a crack spot to me. Okay, so I'm going to go from the top down. Uh, uh, so I can see I have, what's the top bone here? We've got the skull, the skull, and the skull is all of that, isn't it? When we think of skulls, it's actually all of the top of that, all of the head is the skull. And what I also have here is the cranium. I was reminding somebody that there's a game called Cranium. And actually, it's got a picture of a, uh, a, brain. a brain, hasn't it? Rather than the, rather than the skull bone. But hey, there you go. All right, now I have a... This, this skeleton is going to have a little bit of a problem chewing. Do you know why? No, have we got teeth missing? Oh, no, I'm thinking more of the labelling. Oh, the upper jaw and the lower jaw. So what I have here is the lower jaw is is labelled here and the upper jaw is labelled here. So if my lower jaw and upper jaw is the same bone, can I open and close my mouth? No, so where do you think the upper jaw might have to go? Above the top teeth. Maybe it has to go on the top teeth bit there. So we've got the upper and lower jaw. So now we can chew. I'm very excited about that. And <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh my god! I'm really it's loving total this. Mess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so where do you think the sacrum is? Here. I know. I know. I know. The sacrum. Do you think the sacrum is in the neck, or do you think it's this fused bone down here? Probably the one down there. Probably the one down there. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. yeah, okay. And then we have, we also have the sacrum was also labelled as <laughs> the <laughs> cervical <laughs> spine. Now, some of you got really, I thought your thinking was absolutely brilliant. You were thinking about the cervical spine and you were relating that to the cervix. Yeah. Okay. So the cervical spine is in the neck. It's the first seven vertebrae in the neck. But if you think about the cervix, we were thinking about this in a couple of groups, it's the neck of the womb. So I'm not sure about the origin of the word, but it may have something to do with that. Usually, anatomical language, there's a real reason for every word. You know, there's an origin of that word that relates to the shape or or the position of the bone or the muscles. So it's worth getting to know that. I then have a label saying upper back, which is uh, perfect. And I have the thoracic spine. Do you know what's attached to the thoracic spine? The ribs. The ribs, yeah, the 12 ribs. And so if we follow the 12 ribs down, I think you had a label for the 12th rib, which is one of the floating ribs, yes? Do you know what that means, floating? It's not attached. It doesn't mean it's swimming, does it? <laughs> it means that it's not attached to the cartilage as that one is there. How are you all doing in your groups? Are we all right so far? Yeah. Yeah, good. All right, now we have the shoulder blade. Well, we were looking at that earlier, weren't we? Massage. And I'm missing the anatomical name for the shoulder blade. The scapula, so I'm wondering where the scapula is. <laughs> it might be on the foot. The scapula might be on the foot. We didn't have it. Okay, you haven't had the scapula, that's fine. That makes me quite relieved, actually. Okay, so the other, the anatomical name for the shoulder blade is the scapula, and we call this bit here the spine of the scapula. See this here? It's a really useful. Um, a uh, bony landmark uh, for when you're massaging. And, and earlier we were feeling the edge of the scapula here in the corners. Okay. 
Uh, what have we got? Oh, it's very exciting this is. It's like a discovery, like a treasure, mm -hmm. treasure hunt. We've got the collarbone. Good. Anybody know the other name for that? The clavicle. Absolutely. Then we have the chest bone. And we have the ribs. Lovely. And we have the spinal discs in here. These little jelly bits in, in between this. Yeah? Everybody clear on that? Uh, and we have the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the leg bone. Leg bone. <laughs> it's also connected. It's part of that is the pubic bone. So part of the overall hip bone is the pubic bone. So you're absolutely right. We've got the sit bone at the back. Did anybody have trouble with that? Yeah. You had trouble with that? It, it's difficult because I think we're so padded, right? <laughs> we forget where actually in our skeleton actually sits on a chair. But if you feel in your cheek there, not this cheek here, but that cheek there, if you feel you, and you come kind of up and down, you'll feel that bone at the back there. And that's what you sit on. So that's your sit bone. Uh, right at the base of the spine is your coccyx. We've got the sacrum, we did that, didn't we? The lumbar spine, which bit, of the, which bit do you think is the lumbar spine? It's also got the lower back here. The bit that's not got ribs attached to it. Yeah. The bit that's not got ribs attached to it, I love that. So it's the bit between the bit with the ribs attached to it and the sacrum. That's your lumbar spine. Good, that's absolutely right. Um, I have an arm bone. Also, very beautifully, beautifully modelled over here as well, in case you wanted to see a live specimen. Uh, the funny bone. Why do we call it the funny bone? Because it makes it feel funny. Yeah, it does. It, it's, it, it's where the ulnar nerve comes through. And the ulnar nerve, when you bang that on things, is the bit that gives you that um, horrible tingly feeling but also this bone here is do you know what the other name for it is the tibia is in the leg do you know what this one is it has a little bit to do with funny as well this one's the humorous absolutely uh, we've got the forearm bone excellent wrist bones uh, we're a little bit off with the wrist bones the wrist bones are those short bones in between the end of the tibia and fibula and the uh, hand there, okay? In the hand there. We've got the fingers. What else we got here? We've got, ooh, we've got the kneecap. We've got the femur down here. Now, would that be right? Oh, yeah. 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 Which one do you think the, yeah. So which one would this one be? Who mentioned it earlier? That one would be the tibia. So here's the femur on there. And we've got some feet bones, and we've got some toe bones, and I'm not sure what that says. Heel bone, yeah, we've got the heel. And there's the toes. So congratulations. Did we have any other labels that didn't get put on? Any more? What did we have? The sacred, oh yeah, right at the back here. Um, so at the end of the lumbar spine is a set of fused bones, and we call that the sacrum. Is that what you was also calling the sit bone? No, no the no, sit, sit bone's bone here. Bone. Is it actually called the sit bone? There's another name for it too. What's the other name? <laughs> Ischium. 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 So Ischium. we'll go into that. So the, the actual hip bone is made up of three different bones, um, and the sit bone, what we call colloquially sit bone, it's also called the ischium or the ischial tuberosity is here. So, yeah, but, you know, it's the hip. It's the pelvis. All right? Well done, everyone. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations.